look, uh, what we're trying to do here is to say that we need a review uh, urgently of the National Marine Planning uh, Framework. Um, and uh, that that needs to ensure compliance with the Marine Spatial Planning Directive, uh, to provide for interim protections for the marine environment, uh, and essentially check compliance between the National Marine Planning Framework uh, and all of the key uh, directives uh, relating to uh, the EU directives relating to marine spatial planning uh, and uh, the protection of uh, the environment, uh, the Habitats Directive, the Birds Directive, uh, and uh, to also ensure that we have consultation with our organisations that have expertise and knowledge uh, in terms of the marine environment, like the Heritage Council, like Fulcha Ireland, like Antashka, Sustainable Water Network Ireland, the Marine Institute, uh, and uh, so on. And, I mean, to summarise, uh, others will uh, elaborate uh, further on the point, because of myself and Deputy O'Callaghan and Deputy Bryn all of this amendment in, uh, is our concern, and it, to be honest, it was, it was a concern that was corroborated by uh, the officials dealing with the marine protected areas uh, who we met with yesterday, is that in an ideal world, we would be doing things the other way around uh, in terms of uh, how we are going to manage the, our huge uh, uh, maritime area uh, of, what is this, uh, 220 million acres, an enormous area, multiple uh, an area multiple sort of uh, sizes of the land area of this country, hugely important uh, resource, hugely important in terms of biodiversity, hugely important in terms of uh, being a carbon sink and so on, uh, that in an ideal world we would have had our designated marine protected areas before we talk about giving consent for human activity and major development, particularly major industrial development in the maritime area when there is a potential that that human activity and industrial development could do damage to our marine resources, to biodiversity uh, and, and indeed to the capacity of the marine as a key, uh, as a key environmental uh, protection for humanity in terms of uh, its capacity to absorb uh, uh, carbon, right? And they acknowledged we would have done that first. Ireland is at the bottom of the league table in terms of the designation of marine protected areas at just over 2% of that huge marine area, one of the biggest marine areas of any country in Europe, uh, only 2%, a little bit more than 2% of it protected, as against France, over 40%, uh, other countries, 60, you know, 50, 60%, we are behind the curve. And that was acknowledged by the officials. So we are concerned, and particularly concerned, because of the legacy projects that get special status in the National Marine Planning Framework, which were sites developed for industrial, uh, offshore, renewable uh, infrastructure, uh, which uh, were, where the sites were selected by the developers, and where the developers have said very explicitly they want, quote, a developer-led approach to developing offshore wind. Now, we do not believe that's in line with sustainable uh, planning and development. We do not believe that's in line with the uh, spirit or indeed the word, the letter uh, of uh, environmental protections in, in EU uh, directives, that we would have a developer-led approach. But those companies who have those especially designated uh, legacy projects, uh, they have selected their own sites, right? And we don't know... Uh, whether well, those sites may not be incredibly sensitive and important in terms of protecting marine uh, biodiversity uh, and protecting our marine environment, right? That's a problem, and therefore we want the protections put in place, maximum protection put in place, uh, uh, and we want the National Marine Planning Framework uh, to be reviewed in that context. Uh, so that we do not have inappropriate, potentially damaging development taking place before we have a plan-led approach that is fully in compliance with all of the key environmental uh, directives of the European Union to protect our precious marine uh, resources and environment.